wasn't even gonna do this but you know what might as well he's been having me believe that i was valued and i was appreciated and i was the only one for him bro he literally had me Another story time, huh? Of how I was cheated on and lied to for the for three for three out of the four years we was together. You was lied and cheated on three times that you caught him. <laughs> Alright, let's get into this damn video. See what she hollering. What is she hollering? It better be a good one. Don't waste my time, girl. Dang out. So, story time. Ooh, I wasn't even gonna do this, you. but you know what? Might as well. The motherfucker ain't shit anyway, so I'm about to air it out. I'm about to air every fucking thing out. You ain't so, shit. story time about how Mr. You About to Lose Your Job, Julius, was cheating on me for the past three years out of the four years oh. that we were together. Oh, and for the people that are like, oh, no, he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't do that. Oh, Never. please believe I have his whole confession on tape, and please believe I'm gonna put it in this video. He confessed. So, this motherfucking bitch. Got caught. Got caught living a double life with two different women in two different states. Now, mind you, me and the girl, hey, baby, me and her, cool. I ain't even got no problem with her because we both were trading stories. So if you see this, hey, baby, either way. Why you couldn't just keep both the bitches? If y'all cool, why you can't just keep both the bitches, man? You know what I mean? Y'all already was sharing them, what? For, for four years or something like I don't know. Let's get into it. But like, damn, y'all could have shared them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shit. What, what, I mean, yeah. Um. So yeah, we were together in 2020. We, that's when we got together. Everybody saw it. It was a whole thing. So apparently, he met this girl in 2021 at a club, and you know, whatever. They started a thing, and then they had sex. Okay, they they had sex or whatever. And so she eventually finds out about me. So she finds out about me. And my, mind you, I know nothing about her. I know nothing. He's still coming back and forth as if, you know, nothing's, nothing's changed. It's just me and him. So we went to New Orleans in November of 2022 um, with my family. And one day we got real drunk when we was down there. And then I come in the bathroom and I hear him on the phone in the middle of the night talking about how he missed her and all this that and the third and so i immediately got mad like who the fuck are you talking to because that's not your mama and so he was like oh that's my my like my sister my friend i met her years ago you know way before me and you it was nothing between me and her we we, we just i just had somebody i can confide in and i was like okay you know because i got brothers that i can confide in or whatever so i was like all right cool <laughs> so then he introduces us together y'all had us on the motherfucking phone talking and everything and she finds out about me mind you she finds out about me and he told her they had a whole agreement that look we just gonna be friends what we did was a you know one-time thing blah, blah blah had it making it seem like you know it was just it was just that that was it so um me and her cool we on the phone hey whatever and so a year later november again of 2023 i'm laying on him and he looks at his phone and so i look at his phone and i see her text him and said hey i made it home baby cakes so i was like why the fuck is she calling you baby cakes if y'all are friends my brothers and sisters whatever they don't call me no shit like that bro what the fuck and so he was like oh it's just a pet name i said well i don't like that and then he ended up confessing that he did have sex with her but it was a year it was like years before and i said so you lied to me a whole year and had me and this girl in each other's faces and you lied to me for a whole year knowing oh, that you had sex know. with her wow like oh a while back and he was like yeah so i broke up with him then all right, never mind. I'll take that back. He can't have two girls. He can't have both of them. He's clearly non-player. He's non-player. <laughs> He's just non-player. Square ass. <laughs> but then we end up getting right back together, bro. And so we got right back together. And then he ends up... Uh, I told him it was either me or her. So he needed to stop talking to her. So he ends up texting her and telling her, hey, I'm going to keep my relationship a dream. She told me I can't talk to you, boom, whatever. So, of course, I'm like, okay, great. She's gone. I ain't got to worry about her. But apparently, guys, that was a lie. 
he texted some other friend and changed the name in the phone and uh screenshot it and sent it to me and making it seem like she went off on him and just completely blocked him and in my mind i'm thinking why would a friend block you like that if you know y'all didn't have nothing going on right so i'm just like okay whatever you know it is what it is i ain't thinking nothing of it no more i just said you know we're good so now fast forward to 20 november of 2024 and she messages me on Snapchat because his dumb ass made a mistake and put us in a group chat together and didn't know because he was texting both of us at the same fucking time. And so she remembered and I remembered, but she messaged me and was like, hey, I think it's time that we talk about Julius. And I thought she was coming at me on some, oh, you know, me and him are friends and you just, you need to understand that I don't have anything with him. No, baby, she was coming with receipts. She was coming with me and him have been together this whole time. He's been coming and staying at my house when he says he's at his best friend's house. And I was like, girl, whatever, you know, I don't believe that. She starts sending pictures. He was down there this past weekend, y'all, at this trail ride. And they took a picture together, fucking kissing, kissing at her house. And she took more multiple pictures. So I asked him about it. I said, bro, I'm about to fucking, what, what the fuck is this? And he was like, oh, that's an old picture. That's not even recent. I was like, so you've been cutting your hair like this back then. Because when I met you, you had a buzz cut. So that's crazy. And then I'm looking at her and I'm like, she had a kid and like, like she was tiny she was i mean she's not like like she didn't get big or nothing but you can tell a woman that's had a baby and like she had a baby and she developed her woman body if that makes sense and so she i can tell that and then she had twists and i'm like bro i'm looking at her pages and i'm like this is the same dress that she had on that she sent me you're in the same fucking picture in the same fucking hallway and he's over here denying denying and denying y'all i'm talking about could not would not let the fuck up so then I said, if I find out this shit is a fu the fucking truth, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad for you. So then um, she ends up, you know, we going back and forth. But I told him, you know what? Maybe she just bitter. Maybe she just bitter. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is, I, I said all this before I got all like the other pictures. But I was like, maybe she just bitter. So I'm going to just cuss her out. But in my mind, I know I'm going to cuss her out. Let her cuss me out. Let him think that I'm mad at her. And he's like nothing. I'm not suspicious at all. Right? So... <laughs> So I get off the phone with him because he's in the background and she's like, not him in the background trying to defend himself. And so I immediately messaged her back and said, look, look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cuss you out. I only did that so he would think that I was mad at you and that um, well, I was on his side. But we need to get to the bottom of this shit. And so me and her both just going back and forth, going back and forth, trading stories, filling in blanks. She telling me how he told her he don't, he mean him not even together no more. I'm an ex. When he comes down here, he only comes down here to work and he stays with his friend's house. His friend that he was bringing to my house to help him build patrol cars, that motherfucker knew. And he was going to her house too. His mama knew, his daddy knew, everybody knew that he had two motherfucking girlfriends. And when I asked him, why would you do this? What did, what was I not giving you? He gonna sit in my face and tell me, well, she was allowing me to be a dad because she already has has a daughter and and because she liked to take trips oh mind you speaking of trips her birthday trip in june of 2024 he was there he went and told me that was a guy's trip that he was taking into vegas or whatever and in reality they were going up there together they were going up there together that same weekend this motherfucker had the nerve to come and bring pizza and feed all my co-workers and then go right down there and be laid up with her and it's and, and still lying that's the crazy thing it's still lying so me and her basically have been filling in the blanks man of everything that did not make sense this motherfucker is on her vlog over here at, uh on her birthday trip mother's day um any other little trail riding things he's been in this trail riding group because of her he told me he joined it because of oh some guys some games but he's literally been perpetrating this shit this whole motherfucking time y'all He's been having me believe that I was valued and I was appreciated and I was the only one for him, bro. He literally had me motherfucking fool this whole time. And then he kept wanting to, he kept wanting to be like, oh, um, he kept, he kept making me feel like I was the one that would cheat. Or I was the one that would keep some from him. You know, all that guilty shit. All that I'm doing this, so let me make sure you're not doing the same thing. This motherfucker came and put cameras around my house, put cameras around her house, was tracking both of our locations. Like, all this crazy-ass <laughs> bullshit just to keep up two different relationships. 
two different, and never thought that this shit was going to get out. Talking about some, I just didn't know how to leave. I didn't know how, I didn't know what to do, which is straight bullshit because I have broken up with him and told him he can get the fuck out and he can go. And so has she. She pushed when she found out that I was around. She was like, you need to go be with Dream. Like, if that's who you want to be with, we be friends. You could just be with Dream. And that's when me and her was like, oh, hey, whatever. But then he went to her and lied and told her that me and him broke up and we weren't together. And like I said, for the ones that, th that say, oh, no, I don't think Julius would do this. Here is the recording. You knew this. When getting in this relationship with me, how cold hearted I can get when I'm hurt. When I'm betrayed, when I'm lied to. I didn't mean to betray you or hurt you. That wasn't my intention. So what are you called cheating for three years? It wasn't my intention, Jerry. So what was it, Julius? It wasn't my intention. When know. did it start? When did everything start? Yeah. Is that Michael Jackson? 2021. And when did you meet her? April 8th, 2021. How did you meet her? Creekside. She walked past me and looked me up and down. So you start flirting with her, start talking to her. Started a conversation. And it just went from there. It did. It was supposed to be just conversation. He took her fucking around with it. And, and then he was talking like a little kid. Put some bass in your voice. So when did you actually tell her about me? She found out on her own. That mean you were dating? She found out on her own. No game. <laughs> and then you tried to get us to be friends. So you had sex with her before she found out. Yes. I wouldn't even know. Yeah, what the heck? You left him with that with the recording? Uh, <laughs> all I can do is just laugh at the situation. God damn. All I can do is laugh at the situation, y'all. Uh, let me go ahead and find part two. She's not a bad looking girl, guys. I found part two. Uh, she's a cute looking girl. She's, she's pretty, in my opinion. It's the situation. <laughs> it's funny. That dude don't have no damn game. I don't know how he got I don't know what he looked like, but I don't know how he got her. But, hey. Hey, if he want to, hey. <laughs> If you want to be a player, man, get with. There's, there's there's certain type of girls that will allow that shit. Get with the few that allow that shit. Then you be way more off, and you don't have to be lying. And you just want to have multiple females. There's some people that like to have multiple females, and some girls are okay with it. You know what I mean? Just like there's some dudes that don't mind sharing one girl. There's one girl that might have two dudes, have two husbands, or living with two. Man, I just seen some crazy stuff. So hey, man, hey, just find out. Where you belong, and you know what I mean? For that's for the dude, but for the girl, <coughs> Saya Faya. Saya Faya. A lot of y'all saying, now I'm gonna speak on this because I've been seeing a lot of these. I'm gonna speak on this comment. And I'm not even gonna hold y'all. A lot, I've seen some of the comments, and a lot of y'all saying, oh, when you saw the first sign, you should have left in, sis, or oh, that's your fault. You're the one that decided to take them back. But baby, when you're love blind, you're love blind. And a lot of people that are saying that, y'all saying that, but y'all don't know unless you're in the situation. When you got somebody feeding you bullshit all day, every day, and you, you're believing it because it's been like that consistently the whole relationship. And I was, I was fucked up because I kept getting the reality of him and, and the idea of him mixed up. The idea of him was he could do no wrong in my eyes. He was loyal honest the only thing he would tell me is a man only has his word and every time i give you my word i mean what i say but the reality of him he was a manipulative two-faced lying ass piece of fucking shit that's the that's the reality of him this man was a sociopath this man literally sat there in my face and in her face and lied to both of us making it seem like he left me alone. He left her alone. When he would go back to South Carolina, North Carolina, wherever, he was with his family. He was working. He was doing all that. And baby, when you working, baby, I'm not, I'm not going to stop nobody bad because I always be in mine. And when he was coming here, he was telling her he was working. Da, da, da. He don't even see me. He don't even come around me. He don't even know where I'm at now. Like all this bullshit, all this bullshit.
And then even in the recording, because I only gave y'all like a little snippet of the recording, but in the recording, I asked him, I said, so what was she giving you that I wasn't giving you? Because most people cheat because you're lacking something. This man looked me in my face and said, because she was allowing me to be a father, a stepdaddy. And she liked to take trips. And that was it. And what really, really hurts me, y'all, out of all the fucking things, man. Like, I'm, I'm mad. I know I'm mad. I'm in my anger phase right now. But what really fucking hurts is he knew what I had been through already. He knew, they all knew the hurt that I had experienced when I lost my fiance, when my fiance passed away and I was with him. Y'all knew that hurt. And he knew that shit too, bro. And he came in my life and made me feel like I could love again. He made me feel like I could, I, I was blessed to not only have found one love in my life, but two. And he knew that my heart had already been fucking broken. And I told him, don't play with my heart, bro. Cause it's really, really fragile. And I kept giving this man the benefit of the doubt that he, he was, he was, he wasn't doing the things that, that most women would be like, Oh, I'm about to go look into this. I'm sorry that you went through this. I'm honestly sorry that you went through this. I hate that you went through this. I feel sorry for him. I do. Da, da, da. He wasn't doing those things. In my mind, I just knew he wasn't. Some stuff, yeah, it didn't make sense. But the way he made me, manipulated me into thinking that nothing he did was wrong. And, I, and oh, all this bad stuff always happened. He would always manipulate it and be like something other than this was happening to him. His car was messing up. He had he was getting tickets. All this stuff. All this bad stuff always happened to me. And I'm trying to do good for people. Because you didn't go change a couple of motherfucking tires on the side of the road. You think that that's just, oh, forgiveness. But you've been over here cheating this whole time then he would always tell me you know oh don't post me on my page on your page right now because i got some shit going on back in south carolina like legal shit that i can't i can't be in alabama right now so i can't be posted so for a while i stopped posting him because of that and everybody was asking oh are you and julie still together and i'm like yeah we're still together you know but i couldn't post him same with her he was telling her oh don't post me right now you know dream got her whole social media thing going on and everybody thinks we're still together and if you say something it's just gonna mess up something it's gonna mess up her money all that bullshit all that bullshit don't make sense right but yeah that's what he was telling her too now don't get me wrong am i am i upset am i hurt did he scratch my heart yes he cut my heart a little bit not gonna lie my heart was already broken i had already got my heart broke i experienced the most hurt of my life this just scratched my heart bro but i promise you if when I come back from this, I'm going to be more self-aware. And that's the whole point of this whole motherfucking situation and why I'm posting it, why I'm putting it out there. Women, be more self-aware. Because I wasn't. I wasn't. I, I was fooled. I was dumbfounded. I feel stupid. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to even sit up here and put on the front like, oh, no, nah, I, I knew. I didn't know. I didn't know. And if I had have known, if I just would have, if I would have popped up on him, if I would have looked through that phone more, but who wants to have to live in a relationship where you got to keep questioning who you with, or you got to keep looking through shit. Who wants to do that? Because I don't want nobody to do it to me. And when he told me, this is like my, this is my sister, man. This is who I've been cool with for years, years. I didn't think nothing of it because I have brothers that I have never had any type of sexual relationship with at all. Never, ever. And we are cool as shit. And they come over here and we hang out. And I wanted him to trust that. Trust trust what I say. That I'm when I say this is my brother, I mean that. So I assumed when he told me this was his sister, he meant that. And that was his sister. That was that's who she was to me. And then when she found out about me and she found out that we was dating, she left him alone. She said, Yo, I'm I'm cool on you, whatever. She left him alone, said, You need to be with Dream, da 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 da. And just left it at that. And they were just going to be friends. So that's when I actually met her. When I actually just, I didn't even meet her, meet her, y'all. I'm be honest with you. When I tell you, all I did was say hey to her on FaceTime one time. I was like, oh, hey. And she was like, hey. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that was it. Because in my mind, she, that's his sister. I'm like, oh, hey, what's up? How you doing? And then that was it. And then between the times, because I'm about to fill in some little blanks for y'all. But between the times of him telling, me and her actually meeting, like saying hey to each other on the phone. Somewhere in between that, he went back down there and told her that me and him was completely done so in her mind we're done we're not talking we haven't been together we aren't together in her mind we ain't we ain't even talking at all in my mind that's his sister that's his sister that's what i'm thinking that's what he's telling me so he would come and when he would go back he'd be like oh you know i'm about to go hang with such and such for a little bit you know 
uh, her daughter, da da da. We about to go do this. We about to go do this. Blah blah blah. So I'm like, okay, cool. That's his sister. Blah blah. In her mind, me and him are done. So they're on dates. They're they're actually doing stuff together because we're not me and me and him are not together. That's what he's told me, telling her. And then when I found out about the whole them having sex thing, and he said it was happened before. It was a long time ago, and I was mad, y'all. I was mad, and I was like, oh, you son of a bitch, da da da, whatever. I'm mad don't like we're done i broke up with him then and then he said really dream four years manipulative again we're four years you gonna let this go this happened before you it didn't mean nothing she don't mean nothing all of that all of that and then of course my selfish mind and i'm i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just put myself out there my selfish mind was like you know what cool but if you do this if i find out you lying to me again because you didn't put a dent in our trust if i find out you fucking lying again bro this shit is done so of course he came back and we were stronger than ever. We were talking more, communicating. It was like everything had gotten so good, y'all. I mean, so good. The relationship was at its best. I know I'm going to get all the, uh, well, that was your own fault. That was your... You don't want to believe that the person that has been literally giving you back what you thought you could never have, the smile I thought I would never have again after my fiance passed away, I was, I was loving it. I was loving that happiness. I was loving every little bit of it. The family oriented life, being able to being able to go be with his family, being able to go chill with my family. Like everything was great. It was a it was a relationship, y'all. It was what I thought I was getting. And the whole time I was getting bullshit. And this is why shit hit the fan. This is why everything came out now. Because the video of me dancing at my friend's wedding, he was at that same wedding. He was working there, like working security guard at that damn wedding. And he snapped her a picture of him at the damn wedding. And she saw the video I posted and said, wait, how come, how are you and Dream at the same wedding if y'all don't talk, if y'all don't speak, if you don't really communicate with her? This motherfucker gonna say, oh, she just so happened to be at the same wedding that I was at. And that, that girl got the searching. She got the searching through everything, combing through dates, combing through all that stuff and told him if he don't say nothing to me, she will. And he was trying, he was flipping out, y'all. I'm talking about just block her, Dream, just block her. She's lying, just block her. Those are old, whatever she's talking about. I'm telling you, just block her. Just don't even, don't even say nothing to her, Dream. Just block her. Do this one thing for me until I come home. Please, just fucking block her, Dream. Just block her. And I'm like, why would I block her? Why would I, why would I do that? If she's giving me information that you're not giving me. And he's like, I'm not, Dream, just, just please fucking block her, Dream. Just do this. And I'm like, why can't you just trust me? <laughs> oh just please dream so then i kept talking to her kept talking to her that's when i kept getting i got the pictures that's when i got all the information and then i, I presented to him i said bro are you fucking serious those are old those are duh, 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 all, all. still lying still lying still trying to hold up this whole facade about what the like i'm just like bro stop fucking lying then i, I go to searching the, the damn trail riding pages i'm seeing her in the same outfits i'm like man you got me fucked up you really got me fucked up and got the nerve to sit in my face and say i got stuck in something that i couldn't get out of got the nerve to sit in my face and say i really did love you i love you dream how you not how can you sit up here and say you don't love me bitch i fucking loved every little motherfucking piece of you that's why the fuck i was still in this goddamn relationship i was the only one being loyal i was the only one making sure that when people was telling me this don't make sense dream i'm still defending you like a dumbass i was still defending you and i could have left a long time ago but y'all i was so happy I was so happy and I was so blind to the fact that this man, this no, this little ass boy man, she hurt. could could just do some shit like this, bro. I was so blind. No way that this man kept up this whole life and this whole different family for two, almost three years and had the nerve to sit in my face and tell me he loved me. Then y'all gonna say if if I would, if I could just find it to forgive him, he will try. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. If I could just do this, I'll marry you. <laughs> Bitch, I wouldn't marry if you was the last motherfucker on earth. I'll marry a goat first. Damn. Get the fuck out of here. Now, I'm going to speak on this because I've been seeing a lot of these. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that shit is crazy, man. Uh, I'm reading the comments over it. It's, it sounds like my ex. 
Word from word. Damn. Yeah, you telling my story. For that sister that been here, I swear you telling my story. Damn. It seems like there's a lot of, ass, a lot of hurt ass females out here. Why would they feel getting cheated on? Is it because they not good? But like, what do y'all think is the reason why they getting cheated on? All these girls, god damn, they all these goddamn girls in here. I'm reading all the comments. God damn, yeah, it's too late. Girl, be love blind will make you miss all the red flags. Anyways, <laughs> oh man. Sean said, is he a Virgo? <laughs> she said, is he a Virgo? We all have been there. Disrespectful, negative comments. Oh, I fell for the dream, bro. Uh, I feel for your dream. That's her name. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. I'm praying for your healing. But anyway, guys, uh, y'all down below. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah.